Hey everyone, Linwood here, and today I'm going to show you how to do the Linwood Taurus Knot. So stay tuned, and thumbs up if you like it. Okay, so I am working with my right side here and my left side here. And for those who are wondering, this tie I actually picked up from Ross uh, just tonight actually on sale for eight bucks, and it is a Stacey Adams tie. So let's get started. I'm doing the bulk of my tying with my thick end. Um, my thin end, you, as you can see, I don't have much fabric left. So the way I measure this is to go to the fourth button down, one, two, three, and four, and then I go ahead and stop the thin end of my tie there because I'm going to need pretty much all of this here. If you're a taller man, you will need a longer tie. I'm going to start, as I usually would, by crossing over the long end over the short and bring it back up through the center. Allow me to move a little closer. All right. I'm just going to bring it around the back, back around and through the center from the front. And just leave that tie there for now. We're just going to take and stretch this out a bit, just like so. I'm just going to slide my finger right in between those two and grab the tail end of my tie and slide it right through where my finger is. Now a lot of times I like to go ahead and just slowly gather everything here and pull directly through so nothing knots or bunches up. Okay. Let me see here. And I'm gonna go right here in the center where I just pulled that through and bring it forward some. Just like that. Bring the thick end around the back, up through the center, and then you're going to take the tail end of your knot again and bring it directly through that loop in the center. Now, Alex Krasny's done a cover of this knot, and he likes his a bit more with like the bullhorns type of look, so I definitely would say check out his video and see how he does his. Um, I like mine a bit more uh, huge. <laughs> and um, a little bit more structured looking um, whereas with his it definitely looks more like a bull's head mine almost looks more like a, a mushroom or something but do whatever uh, suits you best whatever you like of course you know it's all about your creative expression so once I have it tied I'm just gonna go in and make a few subtle adjustments here and there like so. I really think this works well if you have like a wide collared shirt on uh, where you need a thicker knot. And you just go ahead and bring it right on down. And I'm going to take and tuck it in. Now for those who are wondering, this still reaches down to my belt line with me going down to the fourth button. And I'm also five foot seven, man with a 15 inch neck. So like I said, if you're taller, if your neck is larger, you will need a longer tie. Otherwise, get a vest. Um, so I hope you guys like it. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or uh, suggestions, or if you love it, just let me know in the comment box below. And until next time, Thumbs up if you like it. Please subscribe and thank you so much for watching. You're fancy now.